Creative expression can have a therapeutic effect, and for veterans, it helps battle the invisible scars of war. I've had nightmares throughout the last 45 years of being forced into a cage, and I'm hoping that by doing and seeing what I've got here, that it's going to help release that. When Wally Coleman returned from a tour in Vietnam, he knew something was different. I've been diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress. The National Endowment for the Arts runs a military healing arts program, and now an increase in funding will allow them to help more veterans. In 2016, Congress added nearly $2 million to fund art therapy programs like those at 60 of the nation's VA medical centers. Right now, there are seven sites with plans for an additional five by the end of 2017. A significant percentage of combat veterans are diagnosed with PTSD and many are at risk of suicide. While cognitive therapy sessions can help, for some, art is an easier way to connect and deal with trauma. What I do, I start drawing and I get right into that emotion. I get in touch with myself. Although art therapy shows promise in treating PTSD, experts say more research is needed. But if it turned out in a head-to-head, well-conducted clinical trial that art therapy was more effective than medication therapy, we would recommend the art therapy. For Coleman, this is his way of expressing his emotions to the world. Kind of releases those nightmares. So I'm hoping that from this point forward that I might be able to sleep just a little bit better. In Jackson, Mississippi, Willie James Inman, Fox News.